Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Something Saturday where we just talk about things we didn't get to talk about the rest of the week and we've got a lot to talk about so let's jump right into it. We have a lot of news to talk about today, so where exactly are we going to begin? We're going to begin with the Fantastic Four, because the Fantastic Four has some casting news, potentially. And here's the thing. Pedro Pascal has been rumored to be Reed Richards. This has been announced, and everybody's been going with this for a very long time. Well, apparently... Fantastic Four moved its starting date. So it's now going to be starting a little bit later. This is important because Pedro Pascal was supposed to be in a movie by Barbarian director Zach Krieger. And it was entitled Weapon. Now, the thing about this is he dropped out of this project. He dropped out of a project that was supposed to start filming around the same time as Fantastic Four is now filming. This adds fuel to the fire, saying that potentially he is our Reed Richards. Here's where that gets kind of crazy because it's still just a rumor. And although I would like for it to be true... We don't, in fact, know that this is true yet, but I will keep you posted as we find out more information. Next up is the Tom Cruise situation. Tom Cruise has made a deal with Warner Brothers Studios, of all places. Now, you may have thought that Tom Cruise was too big for this. But no, I lead you right to Netflix. Netflix has made deals with Zack Snyder. They made deals with several different actors for exclusive movies in the past, Adam Sandler and now even Eddie Murphy. So it's not surprising that an actor would be exclusive to some studio if that studio represents streaming properties and all this other stuff. This is where it gets crazy for Tom Cruise. And you may have heard, you may have heard some of this before because we just didn't get a chance to talk about it. But this is a game changer because they were thinking that his Oblivion movie would get a sequel. That was one of the big things going on there, that his Oblivion movie might get a sequel. Well, that's that's not even been announced yet. That's not even been announced. What has been announced is Top Gun 3. We are getting Top Gun 3. It's the first announcement from Tom Cruise's new deal with Warner Brothers Studio. And I am really excited about this concept I love the idea that we're going to get a Top Gun 3 so close to Top Gun 2 because that was one of my big problems. One of my only problems with Top Gun 2 was that it had to take place so far away. But all those years had passed. What are you going to do? The new craze is to make sequels from movies that are long gone. These sequel movies that take place 20, 30 years after the original movie are all okay. If you could pull it off, Top Gun really pulled it off. But I am happy we're getting a sequel to that movie close to that time period because I feel that if you're going to bring a franchise forward and you're going to make this into an actual franchise that's profitable, you need to have it happen right away. And they have done this and it is awesome. I can't wait to see what Tom Cruise's new deal with Warner Brothers Studios has to offer. Because if a big star like Tom Cruise can go in and make this sort of deal with the studio, we could see a change in how things are done. This brings us to Supergirl in the DCEU. That's right. Supergirl casting has kind of gotten underway for a while now, but here's the thing, we're down to the short list. We're down to the three people that are potentially going to be our new Supergirl in the new DCU. And I love all of these actresses. I think they're all good choices. However, this is what's going on. So you know, these are the actresses. First up, you have Millie Alcock, who played in House of the Dragon. And she was very popular in that show. And then they recast her role with an older 
girl because they had to jump forward in time. But she is a very popular actress in terms of that. Now, then you have the second one. And the second one is Amelia Jones. And Amelia Jones is best known for Lock and Key on Netflix, which is a good show. If you haven't seen it, it's actually pretty good. And then you have her also in the movie Coda. Now, I haven't seen Coda, and I probably should watch it. I've heard nothing but great things about it. But she is a brunette actress. Her hair is kind of darker than what you know, Supergirl should be, but look at the last incarnation of Supergirl that we got. And, you know, then there's Melissa Benoit, who actually had darker hair than what we were used to, and she turned out to be a pretty good Supergirl for the CW. So as far as, you know, this choice, Amelia Jones, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything really about her other than seeing her in Lock and Key. The third choice is Meg Donnelly. Meg Donnelly is, is known for being in High School Musical, for being in the Disney TV show Zombies, and she is also, she has also voiced Supergirl in two very recent incarnations. So, okay, so... So that's the thing. You have Meg Donnelly, and I really think Meg Donnelly is the top runner here because remember that James Gunn said that if people are acting in these and they appear in a cartoon form, he would like to kind of have the cartoon versions be voiced by the same actors who are playing them in live action. And we know that Meg Donnelly recently was in two different Supergirl movies for DC. And we know this. So that makes sense that she could potentially be the new Supergirl. And she looks kind of like Supergirl. Right now, I think that she's probably the one. I don't know this for sure. It could be any of these three actresses. It could be none of these three actresses. Basically, someone said something about this in, in the press, and James Gunn responded. He said basically that he could comment on these rumors and tell you they're completely false. But what if a little bit of it is true? He said then he would be deemed a liar for telling you it wasn't true if something in this was actually partially true. So, you know, James Gunn has actually never lied to anyone. He has in the past made the mistake he just said where part of something was true and he said this rumor isn't true because only part of it was. And, you know, Hollywood has to try to keep its secrets. It has to try to keep casting secrets and plot secrets and all this other stuff. And when things get leaked, they have two choices. They can either tell you they're not true or they can tell you they're true. But... What if only part of it is true? Where do you go? Sometimes they pick the first option and tell you it's not true. And then sometimes they pick that second option and tell you it's true. Hollywood has been known to do this for years. And I think it's wise of him to actually step back and say, hey, I could comment on this, but if I tell you it's fake, you're going to call me a liar. And if I tell you part of it's real, you're going to wonder what part. And if I tell you that it's uh, that's true, then I've confirmed something that may not be entirely true. You can play that game all day with Hollywood. You can play that game with any director, writer, or producer, or anybody involved in, in Hollywood. You can play that game with actors, and it doesn't make what they're saying any less true or untrue. Sometimes they can tell you something, and sometimes they really honestly can't. All right, everybody, that's where we're going to leave you for today. I want to know what you guys think about any of the topics we've talked about today. Which ones do you want to hear us talk about more? Which ones excite you the most? Make sure you let us know. As always, we want to know what you guys think. Make sure you're leaving us a comment in the comment box below. Share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. And then don't forget... To hit that like button, it's free. It helps the channel. Miko says we need more subscribers. You don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, hit that notification bell as well. So you don't miss a single video we do. And friends, at the end of the day, I know what you know. And Miko knows that fandom is family.